Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 16th, 2020. Well, we had quite a rally into the close on Friday, but unfortunately, we have had some news over the weekend that um, has destroyed that hopefulness so let's grab something to drink let's settle into our chairs and let's get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep so this morning guys i wish i had good news to be able to pass on that we're going to get some follow through in the market but as i'm sure most of you are aware the fomc in a surprise action on sunday afternoon before the futures market opened, cut interest rates to zero and let the market know they're going to aggressively be um, starting operations to try and stabilize the market with $700 billion. Now, that adds to the $50 billion that um, now is freed up from the president to declaring a national emergency on Friday. And we're still waiting on a stimulus bill of some kind from uh, Congress maybe to happen this week. But the Fed action scared the market to death. And I think, in my opinion, was a colossally bad decision. It shows that the Federal Reserve is in panic, um, if you ask me, uh, making such an extreme cut and doing it um, mid-meeting like this. So the market is scared to death and futures within minutes, about 15 minutes of opening last night, hit limit down and we are stuck there at limit down um, at the moment. We're looking at some serious selling this morning and it looks to essentially wipe out, uh, and then some, wipe out the gains that we saw on Friday. So you can see right now, Dow is indicated to open right here in the market. Um, obviously, uh, the lower lowest low so far in this move. And we will even uh, be dropping below the 2018 lows. And I don't know where we're going to find support here um, in the chart. Maybe there's some support. Um, well, there is some price support right in here. If that doesn't hold, then we'll be looking um, even lower here. Maybe down around 200 um, in the diamonds seems like a reasonable place where we could settle um, depending on how the market reacts this morning. So pretty darn ugly. There's no way to sugarcoat this and it is going to be very painful, particularly for those who, who rushed in and bought on Friday, just really hoping for that relief rally that this was finally the end and, and we could see some upside. But um, sadly, not the case. Now, we should probably expect with the kind of selling that we're seeing this morning that we will very quickly hit a, a circuit breaker, closing the market for about 15 minutes. After that, we will see what happens if there's continued selling or if um, we start to gain a little bit of composure here. What we're gonna see, obviously, is very extreme price volatility, a very difficult market to be in. And honestly, there's not much we can do um, as traders because the, the extreme volatility uh, is gonna make it nearly impossible to do much of anything except some really, really fast um, intraday trading that is uh, without question going to be extremely dangerous because of the uh, extreme volatility. But here we are, and um, that's what we have to deal with this morning. It's looking pretty b bad, and hopefully most of you are in cash, as I've been kind of warning. Just be really, really, really careful. Um, hopefully most of you are in cash and are protected from this move. Let's take a look at this SPY. Um, SPY. You can see we're gapping substantially lower here this morning. Uh, 
and I would suspect there's going to be some additional selling right after the open. Um, it's possible that we could fall right on into uh, that 2018 low pretty easily uh, after the market opens and we get the additional selling coming in. So don't be too surprised if we drop down into that level. As you can see on our moving averages, we're so far below our 500 day moving average. It's not even funny here. And um, just a, a technical damage that is so extreme, it's going to be very, very difficult. Um, any recovery is going to be very, very difficult um, coming up out of here and likely very very violent um let's take a look at the nasdaq now at, on friday close we had that little bit of hope here on the nasdaq that we were going to um, lift back up and as you can see crossed we dropped down below that 500 day we we lost it recovered it and now we're losing it again and not only are we losing it but we're taking out the lows of last week um, dropping into a new level overall and you can see there is some price support in here but once again i i don't know if that's going to hold um, i think we should expect some additional selling to come in right after the market opens it could push us even lower on the day so pretty rough uh, market to be waking up uh, to today and then iwm um, you know there's <laughs> iwm is is um a toxic waste disaster zone um at this point um looking terrible here and we're gonna gap on down here on iwm um this is is going to be a brutal day um we could expect a lot of volatility either back and forth we could bounce off of this we could continue to sink there's no way to know and there's really no metric for this that i know of i've been i've been doing this for 30 years and i gotta tell you there what we're facing right now there's no metric for um, as we continue to close businesses and uh, governments requesting businesses to shut down and um, heck even Las Vegas is, is starting to close down because of the coronavirus it's it's uh, hard to imagine what the financial impacts are going to be from this and that's the problem is we're trying to I, I, I described it in the morning blog as we're trying to shoot at a target in complete darkness we know there's an impact out there. We don't know what it is. And we don't know how long that darkness is going to last. It could last for months. So we are struggling with that, obviously. And the market is in full on panic mode. So be very, very careful. And it would just be wise to just simply protect your capital in a market like this. Stand aside, let this occur, hold on to your money, and wait for better days to come because they will come. I promise you that. Let's take a look at um, the VIX. VIX. As I have mentioned before, um, it, it seemed unreasonable to think that we could actually reach up there to uh, that 80 handle or above. I think we're going to reach that today. I think we're going to hit those, those levels. And um, as painful as that will be, um, anything is possible past that. I like I say that there's no metric for this and the market just doesn't know what to do with itself so um, just be really really careful protect yourself we're going to see extreme volatility it's going to make it virtually impossible for option traders to trade because the the bid ask spreads are going to be um, exorbitant um, the prices on them are going to be um, uh, just silly wide um, we're just going to have to be really, really careful and probably just standing aside is the best thing we can do while this panic continues to rip through the market. Let's take a look at T2122, which really isn't going to help us much. T2122 um, had caught a little bit of bounce on Friday with that nice little rally up of 1800 points but we're going to take all that back. And so we're going to be down here scraping the bottom of the barrel again. 
And I don't know what's going to lift us out of here. Uh, perhaps it's going to be the stimulus package from Congress. I don't know. Um, but I just think the fear as we continue to close businesses and, and, and do the things we do are going to continue to plague the market, and no pen intended there, plague the market with um, consequences that could be extreme. Um, and there's really no way to put a pin in, in where this is going to stop or when it might settle down. So pretty ugly circumstance. Um, and it's um, obviously not going to be um, something that ends um, soon or uh, or quickly. Um, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a few things to say about what's going to happen today but i i really kind of expect the market's going to ignore most of anything except the coronavirus news as you can see we have the empire state manufacturing survey and we have treasury international later on today but i kind of expect that the market is not no matter what the news is, it's not going to matter because what they're focused on is that unknown that's coming down the road. And so whatever happens in the news, I, I'm, you know, unless it's coronavirus related, I kind of doubt there's going to be much reaction to that. It's uh, just sheer panic going on we should expect um, those mutual fund redemptions to continue we should expect 401k plans folks are going to be pulling money out of those as quickly as they can trying to move things to money market or some type of safe haven to protect themselves you can just imagine the call centers today are going to be lit up like a christmas tree um, and it's going to be very very difficult um, uh, for the next few days um, as a result of this. We could even see a lot of forced selling coming into the market, you know, margin calls and things like that, um, triggering again, um, pushing the markets even lower. So watch that closely. On the earnings front, we have a pretty big day, about 160 companies reporting earnings today. But once again, I don't expect too many folks are going to be paying attention to that. Um, everything is going to be centered around what happens in this uh, with this coronavirus situation. And I just don't expect there's going to be a whole lot of um, market action when we start talking about um, earnings reports but having said that a few notables maybe um coop c-o-u-p is reporting today looks like it's gapping down but i can't tell you if that's as due to the earnings report or just the market reaction happening today um h uh, q y is another somewhat notable this morning and none of these are going uh, that we have today are going to be those kind of stocks that really move the market a lot but hqy um will be reporting today we have rev reporting today and tme is the only other one that i have and looks like it's gapping lower this morning um I couldn't tell you if that, well, breaking lows and everything, couldn't tell you if that is a result of earnings reports or just the market itself. You know, one of the things that happens during uh, market sell-offs like this, and um, I've mentioned this several times, is when we start getting into a mood or an attitude like this, we can't seem to buy a good story. And that seems to be the case here. Um, even... Um, even cutting rates to zero didn't inspire the market. Um, we, and then to pile on uh, this morning, um, we hear that Apple is going to be hit with a $1.2 billion antitrust fine uh, from France antitrust authorities. So um, Apple making uh, new lows here this morning, gapping lower, could be under pressure this morning um, as well. So we're just piling on bad news after bad news. And that tends to happen in a downdraft like this where we just can't seem to catch a break. And that will likely accelerate over the next couple of months because we're going to start seeing the economic metrics starting to break down. We'll see um, 
all of those numbers that have been so positive for so long really start to break down and um, could really rattle this market for some time into the future. So be very, very careful, guys. This is going to be a dangerous market to attempt to trade. Protect your capital and realize that eventually this is going to be over and that there will be good opportunities in the market. But to chase around here and to try and fight such a, um, a nasty uh, situation could be pretty rough on everyone. Let's take a look here um there may be a few places to go for some safe havens but they're going to be few and far between and they're actually going to be very very dangerous but before we do that if you guys could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that thumbs up or uh, bell icon so that you can make sure uh, you're notified every time i post one of these videos you know it's hard for me to even ask for your support of the channel when market is like this and I wish I could give you good news but if I sugarcoat everything I'm not helping anyone uh, with this report this is an ugly situation and guys I don't think it's going to get better anytime soon it is going to be a rough market for weeks maybe even months ahead as we continue to try and grapple with uh, the the total impacts that this virus outbreak is going to uh, create so be very very careful now for a couple Couple places you might be able to look for a little bit of help and support you might look to things like some of the precious metals um, GLD as you can see GLD is gapping lower here this morning um, it may start coming back up you know when we cut rates gold normally comes up but one of the things that I think is occurring here while why gold is selling off so dramatically is I think there's so many margin calls we're being um, a lot of folks are being forced to sell um, their gold assets and things to raise capital to cover margins and things like that everything seems to be being drawn in into this but it makes total sense to me that we will eventually find um, a bottom here in gold and with rates at zero we can see gold starting to come back up we'll have to watch wait and see you, you could take a look at bonds um, TLT might be a place to look TLT is gapping substantially higher this morning it had a rough week last week selling off but um, with rates being uh, cut all the way to zero suddenly uh, bonds are uh, picking up here I don't know if that would be a real safe place to be right now um, I'm just pointing out you know where there might be some safe ha havens other places that you might look are some of the big um, staples um, in the market you know if you take a look at like uh, Clorox Clorox has been holding up very very well it's moving down a little bit this morning gapping down with the rest of the market but as you can see Clorox has held up really well and it's one of those companies that can benefit or has benefited from the virus outbreak because so many people are buying uh, sanitary uh, wipes and things like that um, trying to combat the virus and it's held up well so you may find some love or support in some of these old consumable um, companies that have dividend yields there may be a rush to some of those dividend yields looking for some safety but I gotta tell you um, the better part of Valor is probably to run away scared right now and um, live to fight another day those folks that are in here fighting this market are losing their accounts and that's that's there's no way to sugarcoat that they're losing their accounts they're going broke don't be that person don't fight this market don't try to predict that this has to go up because we just don't know where this is going to end we don't know the future impacts we don't know how widespread this will become and um, certainly the damage to this market is going to take a significant period of time to recover from so everyone i want to wish you all the best and i like i say i wish i had better news but 
um, it is what it is, and, and we have to face the facts of this market and work to protect ourselves. One day this will be over, and when it's over, if we've preserved our capital, if we haven't allowed ourselves to just been been beat up and 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 destroy our accounts in this process there's going to be opportunities like we have not seen in 10 years and um, we want to make sure to preserve our capital for that opportunity when that comes around so everyone i want to wish you all the best protect yourselves we'll see you all right back here bright and early tuesday morning take care everyone and have a great day